Hi and welcome to this DCP Way tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an image gallery on your Facebook business page. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got various images of website projects that I've worked on. So if I open up this image, you'll see that it's just like a desktop view of a project. I move to the next one, it's the same project but mobile view and they just keep alternating between different images uh, of different projects, website design projects that I've worked on. So in total, if we highlight them all, we can see that there is 16 images in total, 16 down here. So we'll close down this folder and we'll go to the Facebook page. So I'm logged into my Facebook page right now and I'm going to click create post here. When I click create post, there's this little icon here, it says photo and video when you hover over it, or you can click the three little dots on the side and then you can click photo video here as well. So I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna select all the 16 images. Now remember there's 16 in here in total. And when I click open, you'll see one, two, three, four, and then you'll see 12 written here. So 12 plus four equals 16. So don't get confused, it's not 12 images in total, it's these four that you can see here, this one, two, three, four, plus another 12 images. So that's where it gets a little bit confusing sometimes. It's actually 16 images in total. Now I do believe that you can upload up to 30 images into one gallery, that's why I understand. So if you wanna upload more than 12 or 16, then I believe you can go up to 30 total. So we're not done yet. Let's go ahead and click this edit all button here, edit all. And this takes us into this view here. So we need to give a little title, a little caption for each picture would be nice. So I'm gonna say website, design project zero one right uh, in fact i'm going to call this one zero two and i'll explain why i'm calling it zero two in a moment um, so what we can do is just press Control a Control c to copy and then we'll call this one also zero two but this one will be zero three right and this one here will be zero three this will be zero four and this will be zero four this will be five here so i'm just going to label all of these projects try and give an, a sensible title for each project and it will help people understand what the project is describe it well this one i'm going to call it zero one i'll explain why in a moment later or just in a moment i'll explain why we're calling these two zero one and we finished on zero six so the next one will be zero seven we we'll just copy this zero seven and then finally this will be zero eight and this one here will be zero eight so let's scroll right back to the top and we'll see this first picture. Each one of them has a, has an edit button here. Can you see in the top left hand corner? So when I roll over, I can click on edit and inside edit view, I have a few different options. I can tag products, rotate the image, crop it. So if I don't like, if I wanna crop something out, I can click here and let's just say I wanna get rid of most of this on the left hand side, I can just drag across and crop and all of this will be removed from the image. I don't really want to do that, but you can also crop from the left and you can drag in. So if you just wanna highlight maybe just the, the computer screen like this, then you can crop the image like this as well. I don't really want to do that. I like the image as it is, so I'm gonna expand this all. You can click here and rotate and just rotate the image. Tagging products, I'm gonna come back to uh, in another tutorial because that's a little bit more to explain. But we also have alternative text. I'm gonna copy this, this caption here. I'm gonna click on alternative text. I'm gonna say website design project 02, um, desktop view. Right, and alternative text is really for people with visual impairment. So if, the, if someone can't really see this picture too clearly, at least we can give them some alternative text. So if they've got a screen reader or something, then this will read out that it's website design project two, desktop view, so they can know that it's a desktop view. I'm gonna copy this and then click save, and I'm gonna edit the second one here. And all I'm going to do is go to the alternative text and just call it mobile view, right? And I'll repeat that through all of the images. I'm not gonna do them all now, just gonna click mobile view and then click okay. Okay, so now they've both got alternative text. So you should scroll down the page and add alternative text and add captions to all of these images would be advisable. Now you did notice that I, I, I labeled this one zero one and this one zero one. So we're gonna come back to that in a moment. I'm gonna click the done button for the moment and I'm just gonna go over to my website quickly and click on portfolio and copy this link, copy it. And I'm gonna write in here website uh, website design, let's just spell this correctly. Website design showcase projects uh, by DCP Webinar. And then I'm going to write underneath website web design from only 300 pounds plus that, something like this. And then 
view more example work and then I'll put in my link here right I have my link to my portfolio and then we've got all the images in here we're going to click the post button it's going to take all of that content upload it to um, Facebook and then create a little gallery we're going to check that and we're going to do one more edit after it's finished just to explain uh, one more thing that you can do so if we scroll down now we see this nice little image gallery right and we click on the picture and you can see here it's written website design and you can always go here and you can edit the post so you can edit it again you can change information in here you can even delete a photo you can download it you can rotate it from here you can do full screen as well you can also uh, click on the photo and click here in the top right hand corner to go into full screen and then you can just click uh, on these arrows to scrub through or just to move through the different images and click here to minimize again right that's more of the user doing that and we can click here to close the gallery let's just go through them all and just have a quick look uh, you can see all the different pictures in here and they're all looking pretty good right they're nice clean images with uh, good resolution let's close this i want to show you one more thing what we're going to do is click here and go to edit post here and when we edit the post what we will do is click on edit all and you'll notice that we labeled 101 so if i you can see that there's this this picture in the background right at the very top and that's this main image here these are the main images this is the first one that gets shown in the in the gallery so if we go down to that 01 project which is this one here we can just left click on it and drag it up so i'm going to drag it up to the very top position now that becomes the 01 project right that's why i labeled it 01 uh, and this one 02 underneath but there's a second picture to that which is this image here so i'm going to drag that right to the top as well so just drag it up to the top but i want to move it one position down so this will be first this will be second this will um, this will be the third image and this will be the fourth image, right? But they're matching pair of images. Let's click done and then we'll click save. So that's just showing you how to reorder the images. Now you can see this is the first one and these ones are the other ones. So we click here and then now you can see the images have changed sequence, right? So that's pretty cool that you can do that. So you can always go back in and edit it. The other thing you can do is click here and you can pin it to the top of the page if you want. Right now I've got this... Um, this Facebook group pinned to the top of my page so I want to leave that pinned there but you can pin it as well and you can just click here and share it as well so if you want to share it on some other website or share it with friends or post it somewhere else you can share it here as well so that's how you go about creating an image gallery remember I think you can have up to 30 images if I'm correct so give that a test and see if you can get all 30 images working in there or just create it for your own purposes it could be for a, an event that you're doing so imagine if you did an event and you want loads of photographs in there it could be um, to showcase some of your work it could be to showcase your office it could be for anything right it's entirely your choice okay let's go ahead and minimize this I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.